Um, excuse me, your door is open. It's empty. What? What's this? Did you see that? What? They just took a picture of us. On that tree. There's yellow tape on this tree. All right, we're three minutes away from our first location and we are on a expressway right now and we manifested ghost story. This place doesn't look like it's on the expressway because it's telling me to exit. The reason why I'm manifesting ghost story is because when I'm using the Randomnautica app or when I see people leaving comments down below for intentions or manifestations they want me to leave or start using for this app, a lot of them seem paranormal. Some people want me to manifest ghosts paranormal activity. People want me to manifest demons. Like in my last Randonautica video, I manifested Dybbuk, which is demon in Jewish, I'm pretty sure. I wanna find an entire ghost story while using the Randonautica app. So my manifestation is gonna be ghost story. It's also pretty important to note that Windsor, Ontario is a pretty historic location. It's no New York City, but it's a really historic location. It's right by the border of United States and Canada and there was tons of border trade happening here in the past. There is lots of history in Windsor, Ontario, so I wouldn't be surprised if I'm driving on a goddamn burial ground, you know? It's telling me to... What? Is it telling you to make a U? Yeah, it's telling me to make a U and go back on the highway. That's, this is the weirdest... Okay, let's try this again. Hold on. Let's see. Right on the highway. Oh my god. It's actually telling us to go on the highway. We have to find a different route to this place. <laughs> okay, so it's pulling me to the side of the highway right now, but the location, if you guys take a look on the map, is off the highway. Look at that, penguin. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see it. The location is off the highway, and it's bringing me right back on the highway. It wants me to stop on the highway entry point. I don't know why Randonautica does that. That's where it wants us to go to. Riverview Steel. That's exactly where the coordinate was marked on the map. Wait, Take a what look. did you just, what did you just manifest? What did I manifest? I manifested a ghost story. So Riverview Steel. Like I said, I'm gonna park up and I'm gonna find a, another alternative to get into that, that building because the people that work there have to find a way there, right? They don't park on the highway. So I'm gonna go park up there. I'm gonna find another way to get to that location and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so I found another route to this location and it took us to one of those side roads and you can see that as good news or bad news because <laughs> I hate side roads. Absolutely, um, look at these skid marks. Oh boy. It's pretty narrow. Yeah, it's really narrow. The good news is we're in Windsor, we're in the east side right now and Penguin, are we worried about the east side? No. Please don't hurt us east side. So it's just telling me to just continue, keep going on and then make a right on a place called Twin Oaks Drive. While I'm editing this video, the location it's taking me to, what was it called? Was it called Riverview Steel Penguina? Riverview Steel, yes. Riverview Steel. While I'm editing, I'm gonna take a look at like that building. I'm gonna see any historic landmarks, see if there's any historical landmarks. Because even if we come by a Native American ghost, I think that'd be a pretty successful manifestation for Randonautica. Basically, every single time that there's ghost in a crypto and WO video, apparently I come across really disrespectful. So I'm gonna try to just, my hardest to just make sure I'm being as respectful as possible to the unliving. Actually, unliving is a zombie, so a spirit, the spirits. So this is the problem with the Randonautica app. With no do's harm, you know, they're trying to get me to the location, which is fine, that's great, but the problem is they'll tell me to park anywhere. They don't care if it's a freaking highway. So the last parking lot, I'm gonna make a left. This parking lot here, I'm gonna make a left into it. We're not trespassing, it's a parking lot, right? We can't, it's not trespassing in a parking lot. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, penguin, coordinate. Take a look at the map, walking, wa driving, 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 and it's in front of us. So it's behind these trucks, a little bit of a walk. Oh yeah, by the way, I got my car fixed from the last time. I took it to the Honda dealership and they said that my console needed an update. So we were using the Randonautica app and we manifested identity in my last video and got to the middle of nowhere, like the absolute middle of nowhere. And there was a few houses there. I was getting a lot of comments how people said like, yo, somebody just EMP'd your car or hacked your car. And if you guys don't know what that means, they completely like shut off all the electronics in my car and that's exactly what 
happen because we had the lane keeping assist system that was off the ACC that was flashing red if I go to all of the safety support these two were off and I couldn't switch them on it said setting incomplete it was the most annoying thing ever but I took it to the dealership I got it fixed and um, hopefully that doesn't happen ever again I'm never going to that place ever again because they saw a bright white car pull up to their neighborhood and they didn't know who it was so they hit him with an EMP anyways penguin we manifested ghost story we were just gonna have to walk up this trail around the trees and that's where the highway was so it wanted us to park on the freaking highway so we can get to that location I'm not blaming randonautica for that but we are gonna walk through that trail because this is much easier um found our own route to the same coordinate so penguin let's get started Lego. all right so we're in the parking lot right now we're gonna go walk that way we have the good old flashlight here that's gonna help us with exploring this flashlight can see far in the distance and if anybody's coming close to us you know uh, we can show them that this is a flashlight hey buddy I have a flashlight in my hand so um, it's just over this shrub of bushes if I'm standing on a burial ground which is highly likely in the city of Windsor Ontario then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very ashamed of myself look at these all these footsteps by the way so Oh when my it, gosh, yeah, yeah when it right. snowed, it snowed really recently. I think in the last 24 hours it snowed, so all these footsteps are new. Are new. So that's kind of okay, bad, great, scary. For real. <laughs> Maybe somebody's here right now. <laughs> no, I noticed that, and they look and fresh. Look at this. Look at this. What, what animal is this? Oh gosh, I don't know. Skunk. Look at the gap between them. Look at this. That's a freaking massive. What is this? But anyways, the radius we're working with right now is a 65 meter radius. I'd say we're probably within the 65 meter radius right now, but like I said, it's right behind these shrubs. We're gonna go take a look at what we're gonna find with the Randonautica app. Ghost story. So there's a uh, dog paws here, which is good. That's a good sign, which means somebody took their dog on a W here. On, <laughs> I say on a W, oh my God. By the way, the reason why I say I took my dog on a W is because I can't say walk around storm. So I got used to saying W, don't laugh at me for that. But we have trails here, animal trails that lead into the bushes. Not gonna be going in that direction. Yo, Penguin, let me know if you see anything, anything at all. I see like that yellow box there. Do you see that box there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says no. Oh, okay, there's a pathway. Wow, we're, I was about to walk through the shrubs, but there's a pathway, that's good. It says no swimming. There's water here. What? Be careful you don't step in it. Freaking... Oh, it's over there, the water's over there. Where? What does it say, no swimming? It says no swimming. Emergency life pre preserver. No way. $300 penalty for misuse. Is there even a life preserver in here? Yeah, there is. No way. <laughs> no swimming. I'm not going to go swimming. Uh, no, we're not going to swim, thanks. No, but no, this is, not, this is nothing interesting. We're manifesting a ghost story right now. So um, it relates to a ghost story. I can't really find. No, I can't find anything. That's the highway right there, huh? That's the highway, yeah. The trails go on for like ever. I'm not going to follow the trail because to be real, we're only working with a, what was it? It was a 75, I think it was a 75 meter radius. It was 65? Yeah. I don't know, I don't have the app open right now. My hands are absolutely frozen. I'm holding my, my flashlight in my hand. Oh, there's some yellow tape there on that huh? tree. What? There's yellow tape on this tree. Where? Penguin. Hmm. Oh, wow. Sorry, I didn't even see that. What is that thing? Look at the snow. <gasps> Look at the snow. The snow is not over it. What is that? Yo, somebody was here recently. Look, the snow goes underneath the tape. If someone was here yesterday, the snow would be over the tape. Okay, yeah, let's get what is it? What is it? We chill, chill. What is it? Like, you know those little mirrors? Okay, don't. Maybe somebody needs this? Okay. Yeah, it, it's a mirror! <laughs> Can I send this? It's a mirror! Why would there be a mirror out here? That's weird! So we found a mirror while using the Randonautica app. We manifested Ghost Story. And bruh, if I, if I look into the mirror right now and I see Bloody Mary, I'm gonna get hella cheese. Well, let's get out of here. I just got the creeps. 
Why is there a mirror out Why here? Why am I looking at a mirror? I'm going to take this out. Hold on. How, well, where is that? Where is the tape? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was all with that location with the Randonautica app. We manifested Ghost Story. It took us to Riverview Steel. We went around the location, the coordinate it took us to. It said no swimming on the exact little coordinate it took us to. Black pickup truck, man. Why is there always a black freaking pickup truck whenever we do a Randonautica video? Mm -hmm, that's awesome. We found a red little mirror, a tiny mirror taped to a tree and it looks pretty recent because like I was saying, the snow was underneath the tape. Unless, I'm no scientist, but unless the snow melts over the tape, I have no idea, but it looked like it was placed really, really, really recently. Indicating that there was also footsteps there. We have another location that we're heading to. We're three minutes away from that location and we are manifesting horror. I want to manifest something scary, something terrifying. The location, like I said, is only three minutes away. We're heading literally down Lozon Parkway again. This whole ride is like up and down Lozon. Oh my goodness. It wants us to make a left at the next turn. Twin Oaks again. <laughs> it's telling us to go to Twin Oaks again. What the hell? Maybe you, maybe you, you clicked an old, um... No, I it? literally just went to the Randonautica app. I double-checked it before we started recording again. It's not the exact same coordinate. It's actually taking us somewhere near the last coordinate, but not exactly at the coordinate. Radius we're working with right now is a 60, 60 meter radius. Listen, I manifested ghost story and it took me down this path into the River Steel place. Now I'm manifesting horror, kind of like a ghost story. I don't know if you can say that, but it's taking us down the same path to a different place. Kudos to them for that. But if you point the camera forward right now, so that was the parking lot, this parking lot in front of us, that's the River Steel parking lot. Be careful, black ice. Yeah, black ice. Yeah, guys, in this time of the year, you gotta be very careful when you're driving. But when there's black ice, literally, like, you don't see it and your car will start sliding into it. It's really, really messed up. But um, I got my G1 on the first try, I swear to God. No, no, my G2. My G1, I got it on the second try. I got my G2 on the first try. Ontario drivers know what G1 and G2 is. It's. I know your American viewers are like, huh? Hey. What the hell does that mean? It wants me to make a left on a street called Munich. Munich Court. That sounds like a very German word. Munich. Oh, this is a no exit. Oh dear. Oh, it's a no exit. Oh my God. So we manifested horror and it's taking us to a no exit road right now that was close to the location where we manifested ghost story. And like I was talking about earlier, Windsor, Ontario, it's a huge place for like Native American Indian barrel grounds. You know what I mean? It's absolutely massive. Oh, it's taking us to the end. Are you serious? Yeah. It's taking us to the... The Cardinal Services Group and the last is taking us to the court. Honeybee Transport Incorporated. Penguin, look in front of you. Uh, okay. Kev, I, I have a really bad feeling. I about have a this. horrible feeling about this place. Me and Penguin manifested horror with the Randonautica app and. What are you seeing? I don't There's a car on our right. There's a black car on our right. Don't point the camera at him. Don't point the camera at him. Don't point the camera at him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's we're close to the coordinate. We're actually close to the coordinate. It's 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 the black car. It's not the black car. It can't be the black car. It can't be the black car. I'm gonna turn. There's two black cars. There's two black cars. Can I point it at them? Be careful. Just one sec. One sec. One sec. Hold on. Penguin, is that a train track? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, no. Me and Penguin got went on a train track one time. We got fined. <laughs> we got fined. Don't you still have the footage? I don't know if I still have the footage. I don't know if I still have it, to be honest. But we were we were literally on a train track, and we Randonautica brought us to the train track. As we were parking our car, like, we got the footage and everything. I was just going over the footage. We already recorded. And I was going over the footage, like, in my driver's seat. And whoop, whoop, we see, like, blue and red lights come up behind us. They park behind the car. We both got a ticket. We both got a ticket. We both got fined. We paid it the next day. Um, how much did we get fined? I got a fine $125. Both the same. It was $125. $125 we both got fined. Canadian dollars. So that's like 99 But they told us that we, we were off the hook because we, we could have gotten a conviction. Yeah, we could have we could have gotten a trespassing charge. So the good news is we didn't even know we were trespassing. I don't know if that's really good news. But we weren't necessarily trespassing because there wasn't no trespassing signs. It was just on train tracks. And 
I guess we are not allowed to do that. But so are we like? Are there any notes of Justin Sun's here? Uh, so I look, here's like the thing. Ticket. Here's the thing. We passed the living hell out of the coordinate. This, these are train tracks, by the way. So you can see we're pointing directly at the train track. Okay, got it. We drove right by that coordinate. So you know what? I'm gonna go back there. I'm just gonna go back there. Let's go see. Let's see. I'm so scared. All right. So we literally just were moving slightly, slightly, slightly. It looks like it's right by the entry point. So that's good news. We're gonna get out of this parking lot. I'm gonna park my car on the side of the road. Look in front. I'm gonna park my car right there inside the road. We're exiting the fences. Yo, I think the I think it's telling us to go to the freaking trash can. Is that a toilet? <laughs> it is. Actually, there's two of them. Where? There's another one. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh my god, that's a second toilet. I need to go pee. <laughs> So I was actually pulling up the, the Google Maps app and this is the exact coordinate we're at right now. We're chill, look, the Munich court. We're chilling in the Munich court right now. But here's the thing. I'm gonna kind of just like come back in towards the court. There is no parking lot. <laughs> the parking lot hasn't been built yet on the Google Maps. The coordinate took us to this garbage place. Look, there's freaking shoes hanging. <laughs> you see that? Oh my god, okay, yeah, that's old school. But what I'm gonna do is I am still gonna take a look around the location. I'm gonna park my car on the side of the road. I'm not gonna park in, in their little parking lot. I'm just gonna park on the side of the road. Hang on, that's, you think that's cool, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, what do you think? Bro, I, I don't know. I'm afraid. <laughs> like, I have a bad feeling about this. No, I'm gonna be quick. Let's be quick. Let's be quick. We have the flashlight. Okay, just, just an FYI, there's a bunch of trucks parked. Sometimes truckers sleep in their trucks. Like, for real, for real, there may be some bodies out here. Like, live bodies, I mean, not dead ones. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It's fine, it's fine. It, to be honest, if we're- Okay, but we gotta be quick, for real, for real. Let's just scope it out and just dip. So like, that's another thing. Like the audience, when they talk in the comment section, they talk about how like crypto, maybe you should stay there longer to see if you should find more stuff. I think we should balance it. Like obviously we should be quick, so we're not gonna be caught doing anything. We're just exploring, you know what I mean? We're not doing anything wrong, even though it's almost midnight right now. But what we're gonna do, it's fine, to be honest. If anyone comes up to us, just be like, yo, we're cleaning, we're random. Okay, bring your flashlight. Yeah, I have the flashlight. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, without any further hesitation, we manifested horror and um, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so the Rando Nautica app, uh, it took us more towards like that direction where the, the green garbage bin is, but we are working with a 60 meter radius. So Penguin, would you say that this court is around 60 meters? I'd say more or less, yeah. We took a look around the center already and we didn't find anything like necessarily in the center. If we find anything that correlates to horror or if we see anybody chasing us, then just be careful because it's really slippery. Oh, no trespassing. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> Smile, you're on camera too. Touche. Uh, so we're not going to be crossing onto any of the thresholds, any of the property. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Sounded like a wolf. That did sound like a wolf. Okay, there's a lot of trucks around, huh? Look at that crate. Look at that wooden crate right there. What do you think is in that wooden crate? I don't know. Go check it out. <laughs> I'll stand right here. I'll be right behind you. You know, I haven't been inside of a freaking porta potty in like like six years. <laughs> okay, fun fact, I've never been inside a porta potty. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure I had sex in a porta potty once. <laughs> Is this where the toilet was? Oh, bro. What's in there? Like some clothes are in here too, to be honest. Which is kind of sad to see in the winter time. A toilet? Clothes? Another toilet here. That's the black car that was there. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have pointed the light on it. Try not to trespass onto the property penguin, just be very careful. And just be very careful of the ice on the floor. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, we have something here, penguin. Penguin, penguin. What is that? Don't touch it with your hands. I fucking forgot to bring my gloves. What the heck is that? Lady, we got marbles. What is this? It's a freaking pig nose. <laughs> What's this? What's a real pig nose? No, okay. no, no, it's just a... What are those balls? Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have marbles here. Yeah, that's a marble. These are marbles. I'm gonna bring these back into the car. Yo, I'm freaking freezing right now. Me too, now. my hands are frozen. Yeah. Uh, I think this is all that we found here. Let's just quickly take a quick skim around. What 
What do you think? We should take it or just leave it? Uh, you don't even have gloves on. I have gloves on. It's it's my car. It's fine. It's fine. I'm technically making the world a better place and making a video at the same time. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just pop this into the trunk and I'm gonna show you guys when I get home up close footage of it and that's what it looks like up close. Enjoy the footage, enjoy the footage, enjoy the footage and we're back. So that's all that was here at this Randonautica location. We manifested horror and we found a pig nose, we found marbles and we found... What is that, Penguin? Is a, a, a wine glass? That's a wine glass, champagne glass. Anyways, let's go ahead and manifest the next location with Randonautica. So we're done with that location. We found a, what was it, a champagne glass, wine glass? I have no idea. I, I think it was a wine glass. It is a wine glass. A wine glass, there we go, according to Penguina. And we found marbles inside the wine glass. And I have no idea why, but there was also two pig nose, pig noses attached to the the wine glass. I don't know, that was really weird. But we're three minutes away from the next location and we're actually manifesting the deep and dark web. Something that I'm really familiar with on this channel. A lot of you guys are familiar with too. If you guys don't know what the deep and dark web is, I'm just gonna say it really quickly. It's the illicit place, the illicit part of the internet where you can buy absolutely anything. Drugs, guns, killers, hitmen, kidnapped victims, whatever you want. We are manifesting that. We're manifesting deep web, dark web. Uh, the reason why I put both of them into one keyword, a lot of people get them both confused. So instead of confusing everybody, I'm just gonna formulate the two together. Telling us to make a left into... Not in here, oh wow, thank goodness. <laughs> Telling us to make a left into here, no exit. Are you serious? The maintenance yard. It's currently 12, 11 right now. At night. Oh wow, it it's telling us to keep going straight. What? Look, it's telling us just keep going straight. Even even in that diagonal part, just follow the diagonal. What the hell? Oh, oh we're going deep down into. Where are we right now? What place is this? I I I have no idea. But please read the signs before we go in. Well, what does that sign say? It says <laughs> a bunch of graffiti. B and E, breaking and entering. Uh, Kev, uh, should we be B and Eing? We're not breaking and entering. It's <laughs> it's a park. So we are manifesting the deep and dark web, and I don't think I'm gonna come across like a hacker or anything. Oh wow, we're under. This is underneath the highway. What? I have never seen this. There's cars here. Oh dear. There's literally people here chilling right now, parking up on the right. I think we're like intruding a chilling spot to be real. <laughs> I think we're honestly intruding like a murderous investigation. Bang, what do you think? I think we're intruding on something very important and very uh, yeah. mob type. So let's yeah. get the F out of here. Yeah, they're like literally right behind us. Um, uh, I, I honestly have never seen this place in my life. Can't you see the camera? No, no, that's like for real, for real. Like, I'm, I'm not even... I've never, ever, ever seen this place in my life. Bro, please, seriously, this is like not a joke. Like, actually turn that camera off because you don't know what type of meeting these, these people might be having. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you. Look, look, see? Where, see? Whoa, 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 whoa. One guy moved. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, me and my sister manifested the deep and dark web with the Randonautica app, and there's literally five cars behind us, three cars, four cars behind us. So in Ontario, we have front license plates and back license plates. One of the car has a cover over his back license plate. Like literally, like, I'm trying to look at his license plate right now, and it's just black, just black. I don't see no writing. I just heard some yelling. I just heard somebody say, yo, Kev, please get out of here because really and truly we don't know what we're interrupting here. You know what? I'm gonna park up right here. Let me just see. They're gonna think you're pure suspect. I don't give a shit. What if they have guns? I'll drive. I have the upper hand right now. Take a look. I am right here. My exit is right in front of me. I'm gonna show them quickly because I don't even give a shit anymore. Yeah, they're all the way down there. There's like four what cars. Do, what, what does that sign say right there? One of the cars, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the car that has the hidden license plate, which sign? So we manifested the deep and dark web. We have somebody there with one car. One car there has a hidden license plate and that's actually bothering me right now. But um, I do have a, I do have a flashlight that is going to uh, protect me. This flashlight is no ordinary flashlight. Yeah, I keep looking at, I keep looking down there too. Penguin literally, she's holding the camera right now and she keeps like, just, is, are they coming? Are they coming? Are they coming? I don't think we should be worried, to be honest. Okay, I'm not getting out of the car. Oh, one of them's coming. 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 One of them's go. coming. Go. One of them coming. Chill, 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 chill. Please, Kev, please chill, go. Chill, 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 chill. Kev, they keep doing drive by. I'm not f kidding. Get out of here. What is he doing? He's going in circles. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's going in circles. What the f is he doing? I don't know. He's, I think he's trying to look at us. I think he's trying to, oh, they just flash. Did you see that? What? They just fucking took a picture of us. No. I swear to God. 
No. He was doing. I swear to. I just saw a flash come out of his window. I swear to God. On my, on my soul. <laughs> on my soul. This is like. I'm not even joking. All right. So we're literally under the highway overpass, and um, there are people are on my left, which is on your right right now. And I'm gonna kind of stand here so you guys can see them. If anybody tries to run up at me, you guys are gonna see them too. The Randonautica app is closed right now, but I think it was something around like a 70 meter or an 80 meter radius, something like that. So we'll just do like a 75 meter radius. You hear that? <laughs> keep yelling at us. They legit keep yelling, yelling at us. They keep saying something to us. I don't know if they're yelling at us. Or I don't know if they're yelling at the people they're with, but like they just keep saying, like, hey, hey, hey. Anyways, so it's nighttime right now. It's actually like over midnight. It's 12, 11 in the morning. And uh, last time we were in a park at one o'clock in the morning, we got fined for this, me and Penguin. We got a $50 fine for going into the park after hours. It's gated up right now and it's closed and you're not allowed to enter because if you do enter, then somebody at the park can catch you for it. But we're at a highway overpass and please, Penguin, just keep these people behind me to make sure that they're not going to run oh, up on Oh, I'm them. keeping a very yeah, close please. eye. Really just close don't eye. go near them, though, please. What? Don't go near them. Yeah, no, I'm not going to go near them. Anyways, the, the, the coordinate, like, it's kind of lined up over here. So we're just going to work with a 75 meter radius. The banshee place right there. So that's the good news. We're in, like, kind of the 75, 80 meter radius right now. Um, anyways, uh. What's up? Oh, it's cold. The place is kind of torn up. Yeah, you, we can go through this. Hey, we can go through this. No way. <laughs> that's that's trespassing, bro. I'm not gonna go too far deep into it. Okay, remember remember the train tracks. We gotta take a yeah, lot of yeah, time. Yeah, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. <laughs> yeah, literally, bad idea. And it's, and, and it's chained up, like seriously. What's the point of having a freaking? Look, 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 what's the point of having a freaking big ass chain? Okay, what the hell? That's like a claw. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. No, you just broke the freaking chain. No, off. it's a it's a. Super stretchy searing, Ringo's screaming O's, Ringo's around penis. Oh, <laughs> it's a cock! <laughs> drop, drop that shit, bro. <laughs> what? That's disgusting. Freaking disgusting. You don't even wear gloves, guys. Crypto never wears gloves and picks up all this shit, bro. You make me sick. Put that shit down. <laughs> Wait, did you put it down? I put it down. <laughs> Let's go. All right, and that's all with that location that we just finished from and under the overpass on Dougal. That one really, really threw me off, but we found a freaking cock ring. <laughs> that you touched? I touched, sorry. But guys, please go in the comment section and start telling me, Crypto, wear gloves on your next Randomnautica experience because I only listen to the comments that come in on my channel. Don't remember these things for myself, but if you guys start telling me, Crypto, wear gloves, wear gloves, then I'll definitely start remembering it. Oh, wow. It's a left here. It wants us to make a left at this street. Henin Street. H-E-N-N-I-N -N -N Street I've never seen this part of town I have legit What is this anyway? We are um, Another industrial part of the town Surprise, surprise Wait, what are you manifesting? So when we pulled up the Randonautica app We manifested a rage, Penguin Rage like, it could be road rage. That could be actual, literal rage. Alright, let's go figure it out. Bro, oh, what? You scare the shit out of me all the time. Bro, oh, what is this? The coordinate is pushing us towards that hill. Wait. Is that grass? That's not road. That's grass. Look at the map. We're pointing directly at that, that hill, right? Oh, crap. Does that mean we have to climb it? A white pickup truck or a black pickup truck always in these freaking parking lots. I don't want to find any rage here. Honestly, every location's a bad idea. Especially one o'clock in the morning. Tire tracks. Are you going onto road or what is this like? No, I just want to see what we're dealing with. Oh, there's not water. That is a hill. 
It looks like a wall. Yeah, but it's actually not. It's a hill. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it brought us here to this. Look at that freaking hill over there. It looks like a whole bunch of destroyed concrete. Can you see it? Please be careful on your way there because it's a really, really rocky path. Like a very rocky path. We're going to go see what we're dealing with. I don't know if I'm going to climb it. Okay. What? Okay, someone's here. Okay, we got to go. Kev? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Again, like, oh. I'm going to the car. Why? Please, just, just, just give me. Yeah, a somebody's minute. coming up to point the camera. Point the camera at them. So somebody's coming up to us right now. Uh, they're looking at us. They're staring at us. They're staring at us. Oh, they're parking up. In, yeah, they're parking up. It's a black car. I'm, I'm, I'm following you. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to die, bro. Please. What is that? Wood? No, that's concrete. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> can you see it? Now I can see it, yes. Kev just fixed up the whole vibe. Okay, we're not climbing that, right? Um... That looks really freaking sharp and really freaking dangerous. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we manifested rage. And to be honest, when I take a look at this, I do see rage. I see like destruction, complete destruction. That is all concrete fragments and sizes. Oh, if I go there, I'm definitely going to get my leg cut off <laughs> going up that thing. Yeah, no, Damn, that's you. actually freaky. Yeah, but that's kind of cool, bro. Just be careful because I'm actually starting to think that we might be standing on ice right now, well, like I water. Like, just be very, 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 very careful. Yeah, this is very unsteady ground anyway. Like, do you see guys like all the... Yo, watch out, what the hell is that? Okay. Bro. Bro, is that a camera? What the hell? Yo, okay, that you can take. It's a freaking camera. Grab that shit. It's a camera. It's not a camera. Oh, it's a... What? Instax Mini. Oh, it's those uh, the little Polaroid things. See if it works. What's this? What is that? What? Did you stomp it? I did. What was it? Okay, ew. Okay, ew. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys know what this is, just let me know in the comment section because I, I stomped on it. Okay, that's it's still on the bottom what of my shoe. What was it though? What I have no it? idea, but we also found this thing. Okay, that's cool. I don't know about that, but... Yo, that's yeah, really no, but cool. I don't think it works anymore. We found it in snow. But anyways, the next location that we're heading to, we manifested human. Why did I manifest human? Now, humans, they could be a good thing. They could be a bad thing. I have never been more confused with our kind right now than ever before. Like, growth is everywhere, but destruction is everywhere. A good example would be a protest. Some people could protest peacefully, and some people will wreck shit up, bro. I don't know. I don't know which side of the spectrum I'm on, to be honest, but I really want the Randomautica app to give me some sort of view on what we are to expect for humans. Is there going to be any sort of hope for humanity? Penguin, what do you think we're going to find with humans? Honestly, I think we are unpredictable at this point. Everybody is their own way. Like, I don't even know what to Unpredictable say. is the word. So that's the thing. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Once 2021 started, I have never seen more uncertainty in my life than this year. Like, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if there's going to be an economic depression. We don't know if there's going to be a bull run or a bear market in the stock market. If you guys don't know what a bull run or a bear market is, a bull run means when the market goes up, 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 all the prices go up. The bulls are coming. The bulls are coming. And a bear market is when the market starts tumbling down. I don't know I don't know where they get the names from. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section. But Penguin, we're a minute away from the final location. It looks like it's taking us to a house. One thing that we did also is once we get the coordinate, we're not gonna look at the coordinate or where it took us. We just press directions. We're gonna see exactly where Randonautica takes us every single time. We don't care. Right now it looks like, looks like it's taking us to a neighborhood. But if it takes us to a house, Penguin, what do you think about knocking on the door? What do you think about knocking on the door? No, bro. Literally nobody does this. Like no YouTuber does this. If there's any YouTuber that's done this before that's knocked on a door for a random Nautica video, let me know. But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not making any bold predictions. Maybe it's in front of the house. The radius we're working with is a 120 meter radius though. So that's 
that's interesting. Maybe it can be on the street. Okay, wait, what did you manifest again? I manifested human and it's, it's yeah, it's the house. It took us to a house. Penguin, I actually kind of want to knock on the door. Actually, listen, listen, no YouTuber has ever done it. I don't think, I don't think a YouTuber has done it. If there's any YouTuber that's done it, let me know in the comment section. Which house is it? Hold on. So right now we stopped. We're at this house. Hold on, point this way. It's not this house. It's not this house. I'm gonna go knock. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell them exactly where Randall Nautica is. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think there's two people home. There's two cars home. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm parking on their driveway. I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is their driveway. Cause look, the stairs go onto the thing. Penguin. The reason why I'm doing this is because, like, look, we're friendly Canadians. You know, we're not in the USA right now. There's no gun laws. It's not like someone's gonna open the door and shoot me in the foot. I'm gonna uh. knock. Listen, 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 listen. We knock and we say, "There's an app on your like phone. If it's an old person, we'll try to explain it as properly as possible. We'll say there's an app on your phone called Rando Nautica, and it basically sends people to random coordinates. This app just sent me to your house right now. Do you have anything to say? I'll just say that." I'll just say that, honestly. I double dare you to say that. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's a good idea. I think it's a really good idea. Let's go get it. <laughs> Let's go check it out. You're not even gonna do it. I don't believe you. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna do it. <laughs> so we're about to make history with the Rando Nautica app. All of the times that we manifested something and it took us to a house, we just literally looked around the area and we left. But now this is the first time where we're gonna knock. Oh, what time is it? Down. It's 10.48 p.m. All the lights this might not be a good idea. Sleeping. This might not be a good idea. This might not be a good idea. Hell no, it's not a good idea. Bro, seriously? They don't have a... They don't have a doorbell. Bro, you just opened the door. Excuse me. Excuse me, your door is open. Yo, okay, we didn't trespass, Penguin. I don't care what you said, that we didn't trespass. We literally just tried to knock on the door because we wanted to speak to somebody for Randonautica and tell them, hey, you know, this app Randonautica brought us to your house and do you have anything left, like, do you want to say? But literally, we knocked on the door. The door was completely open. It cracked open. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this Randonautica exploration. We traveled alongside Windsor and we manifested things like human. We manifested ghost story. We manifested rage. This is honestly why I think Randonautica listens to its users. Like I said, I'm not trying to throw any shade at the developers or the app itself But when you ask for something horror and like it takes you to even if you find something generic at the exact coordinate It takes you to how the heck do they know that these specific coordinates are gonna have little knickknacks left there? I think that's really messed up and personally like I do think that there's something greater at play here Rando Nautica claims that it's quantum mechanics. Well ladies and gentlemen That is all for the video. Thank you guys so much If you made it this far subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already put on the notification bell and you will be notified whenever I upload Upload a rando nautica or a dark web video on the channel smash that like button guys it helps out this video with the youtube algorithm thank you guys so much i will see you in the future and remember don't try rando nautica alone <laughs>